Alright guys, I finally decided to show you guys my uh, shell collection here, so we're going to go through it right now. Okay, so all of this here is everything I've bought, okay? Apart from like the little ones like this that are just scattered sort of around. So we'll go through this white table here. I'm not going to name every single one, but I will give you guys close-ups and uh, which ones my favourites are. So. This is a marble cone. This is one of the world's most dangerous cone shells. This will kill you in about 20 minutes. It varies for every person. Because everybody's different. Everybody's body reacts differently to it. This is also a deadly one. This is called a striated cone. Or a striatus cone. It's my favourite one. You guys are close up with that. That's about 4 inches. Then this one is my giant tiger cowrie. This one is one of the biggest I have. I have two. Uh, there's another one over there on my cowrie table, but yeah. This is called a carrier shell. This is a very expensive one. Uh, usually they just have rocks and that sort of thing stuck on it. They're always very messy, but that one is extremely nice. It's got a bunch of nice shells on it. This, this one here is a giant humpback cowrie. This one is very, very large. Its hump is very, very large as well. This one here is called a sea boob or a Sputnik sea urchin. Super nice. It's one of my best. I only have one now. I used to have many, many others. This one is a mole cowrie. Uh, this is the same one that Brett found the other day in one of my YouTube videos. This is another sea urchin. Um, this one was found by my friend, my shelling friend. I can't name him. But, yeah, he found that one and he gave it to me because he doesn't collect cones. Same with this one here, that is a captain cone, he said he found this too. And then this one, this one is a fig cone. So he gave me a, he gave me those ones because he said he doesn't uh, collect cones. And then as we move down a little bit, we have two juvenile, or juvenile then sub-adult, uh, queen conchers. So, usually uh, when the, the uh, when the queen conch is fully grown up, you'll see this massive lip that comes out here and it'll be much, much bigger. But it still does have pink inside it, which is very, very satisfying. These are actually really hard to get to because you cannot import them into Australia. Here's the bigger one. has a beautiful pink color in there as well. But yeah, very, very hard to get there. This one is a ton shell, very, very thin one. I have found one of these, but this is not it. My one is like this big. So I'm very lucky to have that one. This is my Imperial cone. Really, really nice. I love the Imperial. But, um, yeah. This one was also found by my friend here at my location. He also gave that to me. This is my giant uh, sand dollar. It is about five, six inches. It's got the uh, arrow tips inside. You can hear them. But very, very fragile this one is. It's rather expensive as well. And then here's all the rest on this table. So all these scallops, everything here was given to me by my friend Russ Durry or Drury. Uh, I'll put his Instagram at here so you guys can check him out. And uh, he was doing a competition where we had to guess all of these scallops and which ones went together. And I got the best guesses, so I won all those for free. So he actually found all of them 140 meters down in the water. So. He dives for his shells and he found them all down that far. This one is one of my favorites. It's called a harp shell and it actually digs, see these ridges here? It's sharp on this end, but then it's really, it's really flat and smooth on this end. So it actually digs itself down like that. And um, that's very cool. So this one here is called a snipes head murex. I really like it. Very long tail there, as you can see. Same with that one, that is not a murex though. That's a, Fubro or something, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but yeah, that's this table. Go for a little little scan of it. It's a telescopium, fig cone or a fig shell, uh, lambus lambus, sea boobs again, flag cone, uh, ovula ovum, giant clam. I really like that. And I'm not sure on the name of that. But, yeah, that's everything. This is the world's biggest cowrie. Uh, it's called a tortoise cowrie. Very, very good condition this one is. But, yeah, that's everything for this table. Now we're moving on to the top ones here. Let's start off with this. 
this is a world record shell right here. This is gigantic. This is called a Cassius cornuta or a helmet shell. It is extremely old. It is extremely rare for its size. It weighs four kilos and I believe it's about 60 centimeters, 50 or 60 centimeters long. I can't tell exactly. I will show you guys the underneath of it right now. Look at the tail though, it's massive. All right, I'll flip it over for you guys. So I didn't want to flip it over on the glass in case I dropped it because then it would smash. But this is it here. Uh, my whole hand can fit in there. My whole arm used to be able to fit. Let me see if I can still. I have grown quite a bit since I got it. Yeah, nah. But my hand does fit. So it's bigger than my head. It is gigantic. It's a world record shell. Unbelievably massive. No cracks, no breaks, no holes. It's perfect. Gigantic. All right, let's flip back over. So now that the big boy's back on the table, let's go through the other ones. So this is all of my favorite shells here on this little section here. So next up, we have the little burnt murex or a lace murex or a rose murex. I'm not quite sure exactly. This one is worth about $20 though. So yeah, uh, this one was also given to me by Russ Drury. Uh, this was just an extra bonus. This is a rose murex, I believe. It's honestly one of my favorite shells. I really, really love the color. Let's get under the light a bit. I love the pink there, I love it. It's so nice. And then here is another Murex. I really like the Murex. This one is also worth about $20, $25. Very, very nice. But let's move on to my favorite shell. This is my favorite shell. If you have been following my TikTok for quite some time, you would know that this is my favorite. It's called a Murex Pectin and a lot of people call it the uh, mermaid comb but uh, whatever you want to call it it is giant it is perfect condition has barely any spines missing and yeah it's about eight inches i believe so that's my favorite out of them then we have the giant lightning whelk it's pretty massive it's about 11 inches then we have the giant spindle or the syrinx aranus shell that one is very very large i believe it's like 67 centimeters long could be wrong but this is my little red helmet i have two of these one was gifted by my friend and then here we have the giant sea urchin this one is worth about 150 dollars this is a lot of money for this sea urchin it's just so beautiful though and then we have the large uh what is it i can't think of it now um god it's so easy what is it called Alright, I figured out what that one's name is. I'm usually very good with these names, but um, I just had a mind blank. So it is called the Nautilus Shell. That is my giant Nautilus Shell. That is also worth about $170, so very nice. And then this is just another Murex. I'm not sure on the exact name, but yeah, it's one of my favorite too. So moving on to the tables, we have, I have this uh, circle sort of thing here, and I thought all the calories lined up with the one giant one in the middle looked really nice so this is just a bunch of random colorful calories that I've found and yeah it's all circled by this giant uh, tiger calorie I did used to have a uh, what is it called a golden calorie but I did sell it so moving on to this table this one here and this one here my mother actually found in Papua New Guinea I believe or no Numia she went on a cruise with my dad and they found those two on the beaches. So that is called a spider conch, I believe. It's pretty giant. Uh, I'm a six foot guy, this is my hand. My hand's about seven inches, so that's about 10 inches. This is another sort of Murex. I'm not sure on the exact name, but I'll give you guys a close up. Very nice, I really like it. Close up of this one. This one is a bit damaged at the tip here and that sort of thing, it is doctored a bit. Uh, it has a hole there, but it's doctored, but it's okay. She got it fixed up down there. So this is my biggest uh, Triton, though. I did purchase this down here at my local markets. It's pretty giant. It is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen because uh, I bought it. I've only been buying the biggest ones to beat the other ones that I have and then just sell the other ones. It is a bit broken at the tip there, but that's okay. It's still just about whole. So yeah. Let's move along to the front here. 
So around here where you guys can see it from this way, we have another helmet here. This is about medium size. I have one, two, so large, medium, and then small. My mother also found that one in uh, Numea when she was there. So this is the one I got from my shilling friend. He gave this to me as a gift. And then that is a baler I bought from a garage sale. It's pretty big. It did used to have barnacles on it, as you can see, but I scraped them all off. And then up here, we have a baler. This was one of my first shells I ever bought. Bought that from Noosa. It's very nice. This was a gift from my little cousin. It's called a ton shell. It's pretty big. Uh, I do have another one that is bigger, but I'm selling it because I already have one. I'm getting rid of all my doubles, pretty much. So again, this one was a gift from my family friend. He got this from Hawaii 20 years ago. Very, very cool. He obviously bought it because it has a hole in it. All right, moving along here, we have the Chiragra spider conch. This is the biggest conch I have. It's massive, very, very nice. I bought that from Noosa as well when I first started buying. This was also gifted to me by my friend that goes shelling with me. I cannot name him again. Very nice guy, he gives me a lot of good stuff. He found that in Noosa. That doesn't seem right. There we go. Okay, then we have another volute. I really like this one. They get a lot of these in the Philippines. I see love my seashells, always find them. Then here we have another paper murex, maybe? I'm not sure on the exact name, but it's really nice and it was really hard to find to buy. So, that's a close-up of it. Very nice. Very nice structure. I really like the murex. So, we sit that back there. Then we have a giant, uh, what is it, clamshell? Not sure where I got that. Um, then we have some sort of vase shell, I believe. Pretty nice. I bought that a long time ago. Then down the bottom here, this is the shell that uh, my mother found as well. A little helmet from Numea. This was giant when I first got it. Like, it was much bigger than I look at it now, since I have so many. But this is a little triton that I have. Uh, it's perfect condition, that's why I kept it because it's a little bit small. It's about seven, eight inches, nine inches. Very good condition, I really like it. Then here we have really, really nice, uh, what is it called, Holy, Holy Tea Day? Oh, it's an abalone shell. I knew that, I just tried to say the name. But I really, really love the colors in this. It's like a firm blue, uh, slight green and red. It's really, really nice. Then here we have an abalone. I was also given that by my little cousin. Here we have a goliath conch. This one is extremely thick. I really, really like it. Um, it was pretty hard to find to buy as well. It's really, really heavy. It's kind of like a uh, a type. It's very close to a, tri a type of uh, queen conch shell. So that's why it's called a goliath conch. This one was also found by my dad this time in uh, Numea while he was diving, so he found that. And then here is another conch, it's a different kind of conch. Uh, just a sort of big shoulder conch or something, I'm not sure on the exact name. But this here was one of my first strombus I ever found, and I still have only ever found this and one other strombus like that, so... Yeah, and then here... Okay, we're moving on to all the ones that I've found. This is my cowrie table. So this here is all my best cowries I've ever found. We have a lot of Limacina, I'm not sure on the exact names of these black and white ones, but they're very rare. Um, yeah, I'll just give you guys a closer look. My favourite out of all of these would have to be, e oh yeah, it'd have to be that one. That one is worth a lot of money. I don't look at these and see money, uh, that's just the easiest scale to put them on so people understand how rare they really are. But yeah, this is my calorie table. Obviously, I have a lot more than this, but this is just all my favorites and my most rare that I've found. I found this the other day, actually. This one is quite large compared to the other ones. So this one is probably about 25 millimeters. That's like six or seven millimeters long. But yeah, this is my calorie table. I'm really proud of this. I really like it. Okay, let's move on to my best finds ever. Alrighty guys, we're back. Uh, sorry, I just had to answer some messages. Somebody bought a bunch of shells. So, out of all of these finds here, there's four layers here. My favourite find ever would probably be... 
My favorite and most memorable is actually not even on here. It is over at the Kauri table. It was this. This one measled Arabian Kauri. This was the first large Kauri that I ever found. I'll play the clip. I'll play the clip right here. So basically, when I first started getting out and being able to go to the beach whenever I wanted to look for shells back in March, this is what I first found when I was die hard trying so hard to find really good shells. Uh, I was in the surf, uh, pretty much up to my knees every day, for all day, just using a net to scoop up these shells and there was a massive trench pile just full of shells. And I remember just quickly grabbing it and I was so, so, so excited. I had nearly had a panic attack because so much blood was rushing through my body. But um, this is my favorite one ever here. Just because of that moment, I was really, really searching for one for a very long time. And um, yeah, I was just really eager to find one and I finally did. So that's my best find ever right there on the calorie table. Let's give you guys a little scan here though. So we have a captain cone, I remember that. Uh, we have a giant cone there, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that was one of my first bigger cones. I remember that moment exactly. Uh, we've got a couple of other big ones, some pen shells, textiles. Textiles are my most fun shell to find, I reckon. Some more tritons, a giant triton. Piece of a nautilus, the only piece I've ever found. Uh, more textiles, there's that ton I was telling you about piece of a tiger cowrie, I am really dying to find one of those right now. My only ever abalone, very very nice, I remember this one exactly. That is original, that flash is original. Uh, down here we have more Arabians, my giant, my biggest triton ever, I really like that one. Uh, then more Arabians here, my biggest shell ever, I found this like a week ago, it's a volute cone, or volute bale or whatever you want to call it, very very nice, I'm very happy with that. Then my largest textile ever. Uh, there's a ton shell I found it the other day. My helmet shells, they're one of my favorite shells as well. I love finding the helmets. I love them. A real baler shell or a mellow Enfora. Two more helmet shells, a volute cone. I believe that's a soldier cone. Then more over here. Uh, let's check out my biggest uh, bonnet though. I found this about a week ago. This is gigantic. You can't really tell in the camera, but it is gigantic. Biggest one I've ever found. It just beats my previous winner there. So down here, there's just a couple more of the uh, bonnets. I did find this Strombus the other day. I was just going for a walk. I'll play the clip right here. And yeah, I was just going for a walk and I found it. And I didn't even empty it, apparently. But yeah, that was very exciting. Another sand dollar, one of two sand dollars. So this is my first sand dollar that I ever found with Brett. I'll also play the clip right here. So yeah, that was very exciting. This is a baby captain cone right there. A nice, nice, nice auger. Two lady fingers, a very, very, very rare great white shark tooth. I did find this. I'll also play the clip right here. Very exciting this was, uh, no shark tooth has ever been found at my spot in eight years so that was very exciting we've got a couple of wental traps here they're also very rare at my spot then we got some more egg uh, shells they're also very rare again very rare shells here more pen shells uh my favorite bits of sea glass i don't usually collect sea glass at all or well, when i do i just give it away or sell it um but they're just my favorite because of their color and i don't get many of those colors down here we just have the sort of uh Sort of top finds. It's a bit knocked there, isn't it? Or just pieces I really, really like the color of or something. Very, very nice. Another broken sort of faded textile. Chose to keep that because I don't find many textiles at all. All right, let's go check out the originals. So here is where it all started. I This is all the shells from when I first started collecting. These go way back. My flat scallops, serif cones, my first cowries. I remember my first really nice one was this one. That was actually black. And I uh, put it in bleach, I believe. Then we got all the first bonnets up here. Not very many at all, but just my first ones. I remember this one very clearly. Uh, serif cones, flat scallops, moon snails. 
Volute cone, Strombus. These were my first cone shells that I ever started to find, and then these scallop shells. So that's it, guys. That's my whole collection. I oh, know, let's look at what I have for sale as well. So, everything in here is what I'm selling. So, we have, I did find all these though. We have the Tritons here, we have some Operculum shells here, and then some Bonnet shells. All different, all different sizes, all different colors in that drawer. And then we have all the cone shells here. And then the moon snails there. I just have this as a divider. And then in this one, we have all of the cowrie shells. Totally filled. Spent about an hour last night sorting all these. Because they're all just in a drawer together. But I did just sell a bunch of them, so that's always exciting. And then this is just completely full of uh, bonnets. Very nice. It's like... You can't even shut it sometimes, it's that full. But I will be selling them. I am selling them right now, but yeah, just gotta take time. Then my seashell books, so I have shells of Queensland and of Great Barrier Reef. And the Encyclopedia of Shells. I really, really like this book, that's definitely my favourite. And then what shell is that? Definitely recommend. So yeah guys, that's it for the video. Uh, I haven't posted in like five days, but that's okay. We haven't been able to go and search because the tide's been too high, so that's alright. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys liked it, and peace. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram.